OCALC Pro version 5.02, there are several options available for insulators that can be used when connecting a span to a cross arm or to the pole. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the attributes associated with a pin insulator, which is the free versus clamped attribute. As you can see in this example, we have a pole that is constructed with several cross arms on it. On our second cross arm, we can see that there are three pin insulators. We can also view these in our inventory panel, shown here with the associated spans. When we look at this particular insulator, we can see that there are three spans associated with it, whereas the other two insulators only have two spans associated with them. When selecting the pin insulator and viewing the attributes in the data entry panel, we can view additional attributes that fall under the properties filter, and we can see an attribute called line end fitting, which is currently set to free. The line end fitting free is currently set for all three pin insulators, and while this setting is acceptable for this pin and this pin, which only have a forespan and a backspan, we should change the setting for this pin from free to clamped. And when we do that, we're going to see a change in our capacity display down to about 79%, showing that our pole is no longer overloaded. Now the reason for changing our line end fitting from free to clamped is that under the free setting, we are allowing the tensions between the forespan and the backspan to equalize across what can also be called a saddle on this pin. Now when you have a third span attached to a pin, you are not allowing the tensions to equalize between all three spans. You want this tension of the third span here to stay at a set tension because it's fixed to the pin insulator rather than being allowed to move freely. We can also see the results of this change in our reports tab. If we open up our analysis report, and we page over to our third page, here we have a list of all the details associated with each of our spans. Now if we come down here, we can see our two secondaries and our service span, where we can also look at the tension of each of those. Now with the setting set to clamped, we can see that the tension between our two secondary spans is equalizing while the tension of our service span is set to 50 pounds. Now if we were to come down and change our line end fitting back to free, our analysis report is going to recalculate. And if we page back over and look again, at our tension values, we can see that the tension is equalizing or averaging out between all three spans, which is what is causing our capacity display to show that our pole is overloaded. So this is just an additional attribute to keep in mind when you're modeling a pole, just to make sure that your capacity utilization display is accurate. 